Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on the video again. Hope you're enjoying them and finding them interesting. So, a few more squirrels at this visit. Let's get down to some action. Now I'm back using the uh, NSA 20.2 grain slugs with the FX Crown Mark II and they're shooting at about 41, 42 foot pounds at 955 feet per second. There you go. So this one has a little kick about, um, but soon uh, expires. Of course, he's uh, totally dead as soon as the, the trigger is pulled. Now I have a little uh, scout around as always, and there you go, there's another one already lined up. Now I've been watching this one for a minute or so and suddenly realised, look, we've got two on the uh, on the tree. So uh, I keep a close eye on uh, on one of them, if not both of them, as best I can. But these two squirrels give me the absolute runaround. Now I've left this in so you can see typically what uh, what they do get up to. But they go up and down the tree, round and round. So uh, if you want to just see me catch up with them, then you want to skip forward five or six minutes from, uh, from this point. Now I zoom in at this point thinking he's going to give me a, a chance to take him out, looking down the tree but he won't keep still, he keeps going round and round. Now at this point I thought perhaps I'd lost them, uh, couldn't see them anywhere looking through the scope or just generally looking at the hide. So suddenly again I, I pick them up and they're just playing with each other, gone right up the tree.
So again, I'll zoom in a bit here, thinking I'm going to get a chance of a shot. But it just will not keep still. So, as you can guess by now, they're really trying my patience. And uh, I thought maybe I'd lost them again. No sign of them, both disappeared. gives out so we're just back to the uh, scope cam view now finally it just stays still long enough and I take the shot because I've had enough of uh, all this up and down So I have a little bit of a look around and scout around as always, have a look up the tree. But that other one is eventually scarpered. But we'll catch up with them another day I'm sure. So, finally let's have a closer look at those two shots. Now I've just put this little clip in because this little woodpecker keeps flying onto my feeder. When he gets down onto the, uh, the tray, he keeps shoveling out bucket loads of seed until he finds one particular one he wants, then he flies off. Then he comes back, shovels out another bucket load, picks up one little seed, off he goes. No wonder my seed's going down like a rate of knots. He keeps shoveling it out. But it is very good to see birds visiting the feeder. Now this clip is one from an earlier one, it's actually from the very first visit to the feeder. Again I was using these Nielsen slugs, but I realised this is a shot that I hadn't put in that original video. Uh, and it's a good shot, so uh, sit back and have a good look at this one.
as always, let's take a closer look at that shot as well. Just make sure he's all done and dusted. So here we go, slow down. Great shot. Now where he hangs on here, if you've watched the first video, if you haven't, make sure you hang, look it up and, and have a look at it. And you'll see when I do some pictures afterwards, he actually bleeds a puddle load of blood on the shelf of the feeder there. Makes a right mess. But, uh, he's out for the count.